your house isn't selling. You know, it's like, oh my gosh, it's been a week and I haven't gotten any offers. Your house was on the market for a while and it expired. And you're just like, why didn't my house sell? All right, it's me, Ashley Keller Williams, real estate, Everett. All right, so your house didn't sell or it's not selling and you're just like, you're probably on Google right now and you're like, dang, what gives, you know? My neighbor house, my neighbor's house went on the market, it sold right away or, hey, this house in my neighborhood, it sold in a weekend and, you know, I haven't been getting any showings or I get like one showing, but no one's interested in submitting an offer. And you just want to know like why like what is going on let's have it out all right so there are four things that i've seen with houses that have not sold like let's just take them one at a time i think the one thing that is really common or is one of the possible reasons when a house doesn't sell is the house is just too personalized all right that means that you know there might be some paint colors that are not neutral and look look i like colors okay but you know, buyers sometimes, I mean, I wish you could be with me on showings. If the color is like a bright orange or like a green or like purples, like crazy stuff, like they, like, believe it or not, they cannot see around it. Like, I mean, I, I know it's kind of hard to, you know, it sounds like a small thing. Okay. Nope. Can't see around it. So your home is too personalized. It, it could be like a tile color. It could be like some kind of design feature that you really love, like personally. But when you're trying to appeal to buyers, it really just has to be neutralized. And so definitely like completely too personalized of the home. Okay. The second thing that I've seen is the home is not staged. You know, you I can look at a home and I can see like, hey, you know what? Like it looks pretty good, you know, but it's empty. Right? it's empty and buyers do not you know they just don't get with it like like it's it's a kind of a funny thing they go into the spaces and they can't like imagine themselves in the space and you know for every buyer that i have that's like oh i totally get this space i can understand it with no furniture in it it's like one in a hundred you know? and that person should probably become like a like a designer because if they understand spaces that well they should just like they're in the wrong career probably it's a very rare person. Staging really like creates an emotional draw for your buyer. Like it allows them to see how the space could be used. And then they are like, oh, I could, I could see us being in this house. I could see how my furniture could fit here. I could, you know, they get like a, a feeling like they could imagine, you know, themselves or their family or whoever it is in the house together, enjoying the space. Number three, there's something in the house that needs to be updated all right happens all the time you know like it's just not like quite there and i'm not saying that every house has to be like fully updated to sell that's not the case okay but something about the home needs to be addressed and when buyers come in your house like everything every flaw about your home is magnified Okay, it's magnified. You know, you would think, oh, well, this is just a small thing. It's just a baseboard or it's just like one piece of trim that's gone or whatever. Like, I'm just telling you, like, you know, is it important to every single buyer? No, it's not. But a lot of them, like, they're looking at every single detail. And I mean, like, if even the light switch panel, you know, like, it's like kind of like that beige color from like uh, 25 years ago or 30 years ago, like people notice they're like, oh man, like just, it just looks bad you know I just... all right the next one is just really poor presentation like the photos the uh you know a lot of times okay like a lot of times if the presentation is going to be poor like the agent that you hired didn't take photos that were like done by a professional photographer so to me it's like it's like a red flag okay if if they are not themselves a professional photographer and they're taking pictures of your house um it's like an like you should just say hey i need i need to hire a different agent i'll just say it right out loud it's just it's a complete red flag i mean i have like a lot of money tied up in that property and to have somebody go in there and take whack pictures that are going to go online and like you know 90 percent of people start their home search online 
It just doesn't make any sense. I feel like this is like kind of like a value that my grandma told me. Like, this is just so obvious. Like, you need to have a good presentation on there. So you need to have the photos. You need to have video. Probably a 3D walk th walkthrough. I mean, you need to like, it needs to look really good. All right. So if you've gotten, if you've gotten this far in the list, all right. So we've gotten, we've got all these different things that could be going wrong. Okay. If one of these things is out of tune, right, then it obviously is going to have an impact on your pricing. So, so like if you had the conversation with your agent and you decided, hey, well, look, I don't care if there's professional photos. I, um, you know, I don't want to stage it. I don't want to pay for staging. Your agent doesn't pay for staging. You don't want to do it. Um, there's some things that need to be updated or fixed. Uh, you have some unneutralized paint colors in the house or whatever. That's going to impact the price you get and the amount of activity you get. So if you're going to sort of say, hey, I want to skip all these items, okay, then you're going to have to price accordingly. And what frequently happens is, is people price it as if they've done all of the things there that would allow them to market it at that higher price. And the uh, buyers just don't like the price. I did say price for last for a reason because I think frequently it kind of gets sometimes, you know, maybe like in the in the consciousness of the public a little bit over played, right? Like everybody's like immediately like, well, the price is wrong. Well, yeah, the price may be wrong, right? But it's a little bit hard to say if the price is wrong if you haven't done the right things on the previous pieces, right? Like you didn't neutralize it, you didn't stage it. You didn't um, do like whatever little fix maybe needed to happen. You, um, you know, you didn't get professional photos in there, right? Now, if you did all of those items, you did all of those items and you're still not getting the traffic and you're still not getting the offers, then it's overpriced for that market. So that is the video. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you again on the next one.